YouTube, what's up, man? I know you guys have been asking about CFM. When is the new season started? That's all everybody asks me. Just won the Super Bowl. If you haven't watched that video, check back. If you want to watch those games live, twitch.tv slash dub dot. The CFM is simmed every two days, so we should have a game live every two days. Updated on YouTube every two days. Now, I want to just show you guys the offseason recap. Now, I had a 30-second pick in the draft. Um, last year, the drafts were kind of weak in CFM. You guys let me know what you think about the drafts. I feel like if you don't have a top 10, top 15 pick, uh, it's tough to get somebody that's going to help you. Um, especially when you have a Super Bowl. I feel like I have a good roster. I made a couple acquisitions throughout the, the offseason. I'll start right now and tell you guys, Adrian Peterson did retire on top. He did leave. Dominique rogers Cromartie retired. As well as Richie Incognito, my left guard. Those are the, those are the three big names. Cameron Wake also, who was a role player for me, did pretty good. Those guys retired. Now going into the off season, um, I wanted to, you know, really want to try to get the middle of my offensive line down. I had you know sixties and seventies in the Super Bowl run. Now it doesn't matter that to me that much, as you guys realize. I had sixties and seventies in the interior of my line. Um, but I just want to talk about what I did in the off season. Now, it is week one. I played the Giants, so we went through the draft and went through all the free agency. Just want to give you guys a look at my team, how it's looking right now. Uh, obviously, Tyree Jackson, big strap. We're sitting at the 90 overall. And let's take a look at him going into his second season as a starter. 90 overall, he's on star development. Uh, you see 97 throw power, 90 deep, 90 mid, 91 short, 93 throw under pressure. So just apps and up to 87 speed, absolute goon, ready to go. Now, one of the things I did, you want to call me crazy, I signed Eli Manning. And why did I sign Eli Manning? A lot of times, and this happened, I believe, for Christian Wilkins, maybe some other player on my team, and maybe even one of my wide receivers with Julio Jones. When you have this veteran presence here, he'll have he'll sit down and talk to the coach and maybe hopefully get Tyree Jackson to that superstar development to where he starts getting some abilities. That's why I signed Eli Manning. He uh just was the nubious backup quarterback, uh, veteran quarterback that I can get. Now let's go to halfback position. Adrian Peterson is gone. Um, I drafted Cecil Collins in like the fifth round, 90 speed. I, I, just a body, 5'8", probably never going to play. Have Josh Adams. No, nah, I'm not going to use him. I signed Miles Sanders, Eagles rookie. Not that great. You know, 89 speed, 91 acceleration. Just ratings aren't that good. Uh, just a body. But I also signed Alabama's own Bo Skull, bro. Bo Nose Skull, bro. 88 speed, 90 acceleration. He's got the 84 break tackle, 89 truck, 83 stiff arm. Uh, for me, about Bo Skull, bro, is that he's just going to fill that Adrian Peterson role. Get the ball in the end zone inside the five yard line. Need a big back to do that. 6'1, 232 pounds. Bo's going to get that done for me. I was going to draft another running back, but I think. For me, all I want is a big body that can get in the end zone. Um, fullback don't have one. Wide receiver, I signed Keenan Cole just to be my fifth wide receiver. MVS is up to 95 speeds. Yeah, he started at 93 speed. We got him up to 95 speed, 6'4", 95 speed to match Perriman, who is actually a superstar now. He's on superstar development. Uh, you see the ratings, but the abilities, he has post-flag elite. I believe he got that before the Super Bowl as well. So that's a big deal. Uh, so we have Shark. I believe Shark is on star development now, too. So he's on star. Uh, Paraman's on superstar. Valdez is still on regular. And obviously Julio Jones is on superstar. Uh, now, I mean, I love my wide receivers, obviously. Don't use a tight end. Left tackle, Taylor Decker, up to 81. This guy, 26 years old, star development. We got him past, look. 80 pass block, 87 pass. Like he he holds me down my left tackle. My left, my interior of my line, I signed this guy, Sineo. Just bodies, 70 ratings. I have two rookie centers that I drafted. One is more of a pass blocker and Matt Tanner, 75-75. Um, the other one is Caleb Barnes, a little bit stronger, and he's a little bit of a run blocker. Both really bad though, man. You see over here 64 and 62 overall. I don't really know how they're gonna hold it down. Sweezy, I signed him. Showfield, I have these guys. Just bodies, man. 70 pass blocking. They can, they'll can, they be all right. Big Strap will get out of there and make some plays, you know. And then, obviously, we still have Mitchell Schwartz at tackle. Um, he's a, a cog for my offense with the 99 pass block, all that stuff, you know. So, 
Now let's go left end, Daniel Hunter, obviously, 88 speed, absolute goon. Uh, then we have TJ Watt on the other side. Uh, these guys, other guys are just bodies. I don't really know them, but TJ Watt, Daniel Hunter. Now I'm going to show you my safety situation first. I have Ronnie Harrison, got him, got him the 83 overall. He's really slow. I signed Taylor Rapp, if those of y'all followed the CFM last year, no, I had Taylor Rapp with the Rams, so I had him. I signed him as well, just just to rekindle the old memories of the old CFM. He's not really going to play, but maybe special teams hit somebody. But Ronnie Harrison is a guy uh, I'm on the verge of not being happy with, just because his ratings are so low. Yeah, he has 89 hit power and 85 tackle, which is really good for a safety. But 86 speed, uh, he's 6'3". I want to keep him there. Now... We'll show free safety. Now, I had Justin Simmons, 88 speed, the, the guy from the Broncos, solid player. But I also had Marquise Blair. I also have Lonnie Ballantyne, obviously. Uh, I have Red One, Sheldrick Red One. All these guys have 90 plus speed, good height, and can tackle and hit. I also drafted with the first round pick this guy, Jamison Johnson. 6'2 safety out of Duke. 91 speed. Now, he had a 4'4'40. I thought he might be 92, 93, 94 speed. 91 speed was a little disappointing, but Jamison Johnson, uh, like I said, 91 speed. He's got the 78 hit power. He's on the same line as the rest of these guys. Kind of got good height, good size, um, and can tackle and can run fast. That's why I drafted him. So I have, this is four safeties. Still have Ronnie Harrison. That's five safeties. So what I did was I traded Justin Simmons. You said, who did I trade Justin Simmons for? I'll show you right here. Linval Joseph. And why did I make this trade? Because, I, listen, I don't care about the passers. You guys watch the CFM. You watch the championship game. You watch the Super Bowl. Give me the big hogs up front. Now, Linval is old, for sure. But, like I said, he's an absolute monster as far as strength, fatness, block shedding. He's just going to be able to clog the middle. When I'm in 3-4, I'll have him along with Christian Wilkins. So I have maybe Linval at D-tackle, Christian Wilkins at the end, who is my star 24-year-old D-tackle, obviously with 93 block shedding uh, to go alongside Linval Joseph. So to have Linval and Christian Wilkins and Daniil Hunter and TJ Watt, I feel like that just builds your line. We building the line. Obviously still have my, my dogs, Roquan Smith and Miles Jack. Now I'll be honest with you, chat. For what I invested in Roquan Smith and Miles Jack, I was a little disappointed in their play. That'll bring me to something else I want to go to uh, as far as the training is concerned. Um, I was disappointed in what they brought to the table. I, Roquan obviously ran linebacker of the year, but not enough hit sticks, man. And I don't know if it's this mode. I mean, we're used to more hit sticks, maybe because it's mutt, maybe because of enforcer. I want to try to get these guys' ratings a little bit better. So I might put my focus player on Miles Jack and Roquan Smith. Um... Because I, I really think they need to be the center of my defense. Um, outside linebacker, I still have Bruce Irvin can be a body there. So as far as like the rest of the people in that front seven, I think the third person I'm going to throw in there is probably Marcus Hunt. Or this guy, Anthony Zettel. I do like Zettel. He's been pretty good with the, you know, he's got 81 finesse move. Uh, 83 strength, that's pretty good. Or we can put Marcus Hunt, Marcus Hunt, you know, 6'8". You know, 295 pounds with this. His ratings aren't that great, but he has 83 speed. Also drafted this other guy in around Kirkendall. Now, I like the name Kirkendall, you know, and this guy has 87 strength. His ratings are bad. He's a rookie, East Carolina College, Kirkendall. But, you know, I drafted him. But mostly the biggest move that I made, and we'll go to the cornerback position, is I signed Chris Westry. And you ask who Chris Westry is. If anybody played Madden, the Madden Classic with the Cowboys, you know that Chris Westry was one of the best pieces for the for the Cowboys secondary. And why? Because he's 6'4", and he has 94 speed. To find a combination of 6'4 at a cornerback position with the 94 speed, yes, rating's not that good. 77 speed, 59 tackle is the worst part. Um, but to be 6'4 and 94 speed... That will replace the DRC that I missed. And and like I said, look, he's 23 years old. We're going to put him on the focus player, get him five, 500 extra XP every training session, and hopefully get that tackle up, get the zone coverage up, and really uh, make him a player to go forward in my secondary. We got younger. 
a way younger and obviously faster player than DRC and Westry. I also signed some more bodies. I signed this Iman Lewis Marshall. 6'1", 89 speed, not that fast. The thing I liked about him is he has 72 tackle and 73 hit power. That's a physical player. As we compare him to Westry with the 59 and 58. Melvin in the 60s, that's not bad. Uh, Joshua Hosley, 5'11", I'm not the biggest fan of him. But then I signed these two other bodies. Both 90 speed, both 6'2". Simeon Thomas, Derek Jones, both 6'2", both 90 speed. So I signed, those are all my, all my free agents were corners. Iman Lewis, Marshall, Westry, Thomas, and Jones. So I have tons of bodies in the secondary. Just bodies. Nobody that that's that great. Uh, Rashad Melvin is probably the most solid. But nobody that's good. So this is my biggest weakness of my team is the secondary. But we have the physical attributes in the secondary. We have the height. We have the speed. So uh, just got to keep building on my secondary. Uh, to go with this front seven is really good. So that's part of the reason I thought Justin Simmons was expendable. You know, he wasn't amazing. He, he was just kind of solid. So that's why I traded him to get Linval Joseph, to get another fat body on that defensive line uh, to really hold up against these runners that think they can just come out here and run the ball on my defense. And, uh, you know, that that's pretty much my team going forward. Feeling good. I mean, like I said, the biggest thing I want in this in this league right now is to get escape artists or that dashing dead eye on Tyree Jackson. And the way the way I did that, the biggest thing I took is Eli Manning signing him to try to get him to go to the coach and talk about Tyree Jackson, hopefully get him up to superstar development. If you guys have any other, uh, whatchamacallit, suggestions for me to help get Tyree Jackson to superstar development, is it going to take another year? And that's part of the reason why, you know, I will sign a, I will go get a Linval Joseph. I will get a 30-year-old player because, you know, if I can win a Super Bowl and then get him the superstar, you know, I won't need that player anymore, you know. That's part of the reason I had Adrian Peterson, part of the reason I had DRC. Yeah, you guys told me they were old, but at the end of the day, man, if they can help me win a Super Bowl and help grow my young players, they'll play their role, you know. So uh, we got, listen, Big Strap is ready for season two. We got Bo Skull, bro. He got him at running back, man, and we got Linval Joseph, fat ass, holding up the middle, and we got Westry at corner. I think this season's going to be even better than the first season, so stay tuned. Like I said, if you want to watch these games live, twitch.tv slash dub that. If not, check out the YouTube videos. Hit the like button. I will drop seat or week one. We're playing the Giants. Be ready for that.